We've had now over 3,000 bills submitted to us through Bill of the Month, and one is more outrageous than the next. It's really a heartbreaking and personal problem for many Americans. We have a huge range from babies to great-grandmothers at this point, but I think one of the big groups for us are those patients between 20 and 40 who are more likely to have those high deductible plans because they're cheaper, and they're likely, you know, early in their careers, so they're switching jobs, buying houses, and they are really stuck, and they're, they're newly introduced to a system that's so dysfunctional, and they feel like, wow, you know, I'm shocked when I'm suddenly hit by an emergency room bill because I took my little kid there to get the Polly Pocket shoes out of her nose. I think they are particularly vulnerable. What we have seen frequently is that bills magically disappear when a reporter, particularly a national reporter, comes calling. They're like, oh, that was a mistake, or oh, we're going to write that off. And yeah, we love that when that happens. It, it, it's fabulous. But, you know, that's not really the point. You shouldn't have to go on national radio or national TV to get reasonably priced health care. So our point is really to highlight these cases so that our politicians, regulators, hospitals, doctors will find a solution that applies to everyone, not just the people who go on NPR. Those large bills are kind of eye-popping and they make good stories like, oh my God, $500,000, no one can pay that. And they represent a certain kind of problem. You know, those are the ones that lead to bankruptcy or lead to people's credit rating being trashed. But in fact, the smaller ones, those $800 bills, first of all, they're far more common. And in a country where we know many middle-class people don't even have $500 in savings, those $800 bills can change a family's life. It might mean you can't make your kids college tuition. Have your antenna up, ask questions, ask again, get estimates, arm yourself with knowledge of what other insurers, what Medicare would pay for those services, and don't just write the check. For a year now, we've watched politicians from both parties and from the White House say, wow, these prices are too high, drug prices are too high, hospital charges are too high, but now they need to follow up that talk with some kind of action. Thank you.